is it a test or an attack? What you're going through right now, quite a lot of it, but maybe one or two. Do you know if it's a test or do you know if it's an attack? And if it is a test, what do you do? If it is an attack, how are you supposed to handle it? So in the next few minutes, I'm going to just give you boom, 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 because I don't want to take your time. Examples and people and situations that have been tests. So should we start with the tests first? Because the attack can take us a longer time. Tests can come because it's time for promotion. It's like you're in school, you know. Um, you go to elementary school, you're in kindergarten or you're going to the next one, you have to write a test. You have to write a test for the next class. Nobody's going to move you from primary one to four without tests. So this is the same thing in your spiritual growth in life. Even if it's not spiritual, just career, um, relationships, everything, you must, you must sit for tests. You must sit for exams. But somehow, we're not prepared. And so when these things come, we're scrambling, we're tearing our hair out, we're wondering, what do I do next? Why me? Why? Why is this happening to me? If you're being promoted, now remember, promotion doesn't come from the east, it doesn't come from the west, it comes from above. Now God sees you and says, I want to promote my daughter. It's time for you to move to another level. He then tests you. Or he has a plan. It's something bigger than you. And he's looking for someone to use. He can test you. So, blessed morning to everyone again. Good afternoon. There was someone that God tested. I want us to look at Genesis 22 verse 1. His name was Abraham at that time. Genesis 22 verse 1. This guy had a history. He had a history with the Lord. He had left Haran. He had come to be with his with God's people. Please put that scripture up for us. Thank you. And because God was now looking to use him in a new dimension, he now gets a test. Now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here am I. And what happened there? God was asking for something that was a bit tidy. He said, take your son, your only son. He had another son at that time. God says, your only son, and go to a place I will show you and sacrifice him. For crying out loud, I just left father and mother. I just left familiar places. I had waited for this child. Now you're testing me. You're asking me to say to my only son goodbye with my own hands. So this man, of course, you know the scripture. He passed the test. And from that one seed came the nations. Because God said, I will bless you. I will bless you all through the nations. So this is the deal. What are you being tested on? I want us to be real now. What is God asking you to let go of? One thing that he wants to let you see that is not that important in relation to what he wants to do with you, large scale. God will always test you. When he wants to move you from where you are to where you're going, God will test you. It's so sad that you feel everything is Satan. No, he will test you. He will test your loyalty. He will test your commitment. He will test your heart towards him. So it is between you and him. He tested Abraham. Let's look at Psalm 105 verse 19. Psalm 105 verse 19. This guy too, his situation was not pretty. If you are in a situation that's not pretty, stop complaining. Stop whining. I want you to learn. I'll tell you what to do. 
What to do in any situation? Please put up for me Psalm 105 verse 19. Thank you, sir. Until the time of his word came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. Saints of God, it's a beautiful thing to be tested by the Lord. If you haven't been tested yet, or you didn't know when your test was going on, I want you to know that if you're praying and saying, Lord, please, I want to know more about you. God, I want to serve you. God, I want to do this. God, you've given me this dream. God will test you. Why? Because he knows that the level where you are in relation to where he's taking you is going to demand something else. Listen to me carefully. A dear woman of God in this city that I live, she told me one day when I was still crying to God and I was saying, God, why is this so hard? Why is this so hard? Why is it this difficult? She said to me, she said, listen, Tolani, it's not the Tolani that God called that God is going to use. Please put that up there for me. It's not the Philomena God called that God is going to use. And it's sunk in my spirit that, oh, I'm going to a test. God will test you with the five dollars in your hands. God will test you when he tells you to let go of the last meal in your hands. He just wants to see. He wants to see if you can trust him enough. He will test you. My dear sisters, brothers, if you really know that you want to move with God in, and you're saying to him, God, use me in these days. Do what you want to do with me. He will test you. He will test if you have control. God tested Abraham. He tested Joseph. Our Lord Jesus Christ was tested. He was tested beyond measure. Paul was tested. Why don't you think you will be tested? Why do you think it's just going to come on a platter of gold? If you want to move to the next level, if you want to be trusted by God, you will be tested. People will also test you. So there are tests that will come from God and there will be tests that come from people. Why? People also want to know if they can trust you. So not only God wants to trust you, people around you will want to test you. What are you made of? What substance are you made of? Are you, are you the real deal? They will test you. <laughs> people will test you to see who you are. Do you believe in the cause you're speaking about? People will test you. If you think that I'm going to just give you my allegiance and follow you without testing your spirit, without testing what you are, without testing what you're talking about, you're a joker. Because I will test you. You can't come to me with a prophecy and tell me what the Lord said. I will test you. I will test what spirit is at work in your life. People will test you. They will push you to the brink. They will see what you're made of. Let me ask you, if you've been asking the Lord to increase your level of love, you will be tested. That love will be tested. So, if you have been asking God, let me talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We're in the wisdom lounge where we're sitting down and just talking. If you've been asking God for victory over a sin, you will be tested in that area. You know that you have this weakness with women. You will be tested. Men, did you hear me? God must test you. Oh God, please, I don't want to look at women again. I beg the Father. You fasted. You prayed. There's nothing you haven't done. You put a scripture. When you come out here, you will be tested. A woman will come to you without clothes. She will start strutting herself before you. It's a test. You must learn that in this journey, you will be tested. 
you have a character flow. And I'm talking to everyone, including myself. You are a no-nonsense person. You can't take it. Nobody can say that to you. But in your room, you've been saying, God, I want to be more patient. Lord, teach me how to be patient. Oh God, give me long suffering. Oh my father, I would like to please you. Teach me your way, oh God. As you come out, somebody will come and tell you something that will want to make you flip. The word of the Lord will test you. That character flaw, you must learn that the testing as you pass it is how you become more like the image and the likeness of Christ. So a young person comes at you and looks you in the face and is very rude to you. But you told God you wanted patience. Don't you know at that time, the Holy Spirit is watching. Are you going to seal your tongue? Or are you going to unleash like normal? Once you unleash like normal, then you start the exams all over again. Your husband is saying something you don't like. Your wife is saying something you don't like. Your boss is saying something you don't like. But you told God, God, teach me patience. I want to be a vessel of honor in this office. He will test you. <laughs> Until that anger is removed completely from your life. Until lying is removed from your life. Until covetousness is when you say, God, I'm not spending money anyhow. I'm going to be frugal. I'm going to be prudent. That's when they'll tell you there's some sale going on somewhere. That's when your friends will bring you this nice thing that you should be part of. It's a test. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that your promotions are here. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will be promoted from level to level. The Lord will find you a person he can trust. And people will see your life and know they can trust you. In the name of Jesus the Christ. God, I want to know you more. But you just love to ignore the Bible. You don't want to read. You don't want to discipline yourself. You just want to do what you like when you like. No, that's not how you grow in the kingdom. A true disciple, a person that can be trusted with much more, you are going to be a hardworking person. You have to be hardworking. There's no laziness because you see to whom much is given, much is expected. How did Joseph cope? He was a strong person. He was mentally sound. At the same time, he knew that he couldn't afford to be lazy. Potiphar's house, he was hardworking. In the prison, he was hardworking. If anyone is here and you're struggling with slothfulness and laziness and you're saying, God, change me, it will bring things to you that will stretch you. Projects will come that will stretch you. People of God, it's time to know that when you're praying for more God's, more of God's power, more of God's presence, and you're saying, God, trust me with more, he will test you before he gives it to you. I hope you understand. The testing of God is always to build character. The testing of God is always to make you better than where you were before. The testing of man can be two ways. But whichever way they bring it, if you pass and you will keep passing in Jesus' name, they respect you more. So, tests are things that come your way to make you a better person. How do you know the difference between when it's a test from God or a test from man or it's an attack? So I'm going to go to the attack part now. Don't forget, the testings will stretch character. The, the, the testing will bring you to a place where you're confronting things you've been praying about, things you've been asking for, character that is being built. That's how you know it's a test.